Mr. Speaker, I have the honor of serving as Chairwoman of the House Appropriations Subcommittee on Homeland Security. The subcommittee is charged with overseeing the funding of our nation's longest continuous sea-going service, the United States Coast Guard. Since the Coast Guard's founding in 1790 by Alexander Hamilton, Americans have relied on this service to protect our maritime interests. The Coast Guard has secured our sovereignty in times of war and peace and safeguarded the American public during times of national catastrophe. As one of the five branches of the U.S. Armed Forces, the Coast Guard serves as a critical link between the Department of Defense and the Department of Homeland Security. My role as Chairwoman of the DHS Appropriations Subcommittee and previously as the subcommittee's ranking member, has afforded me the opportunity to more fully appreciate the challenging work of the men and women of the Coast Guard. This includes saving more than 11,000 lives after the devastating impacts of Hurricanes Maria, Irma, Harvey, Florence, and Michael to the cumulative interdiction of 432 tons of cocaine over the past two years. One of the greatest exemplars of coasty dedication and effectiveness is Captain Adam Shamey, who has served as a Coast Guard liaison to the House of Representatives for the past two years. Adam has consistently demonstrated an ability to effectively convey the critical needs of the Coast Guard to both members of Congress and staff while also supporting the Coast Guard's responses to the needs of states and congressional districts across the country. Over his two-year tenure as liaison, he has helped facilitate the Coast Guard's two largest annual funding levels in the services history. On April 18, 2019, Adam will take command of Coast Guard Sector Key West, an area from the Bahamas to Cuba encompassing 55,000 square nautical miles. While his departure is a loss to the House and the men and women of the Coast Guard serving along the Florida Keys will greatly benefit from his leadership and his commitment to the Coast Guard's core values of honor, respect, and devotion to duty. I wish Captain Shamey fair winds and following seas as he starts a new chapter in his career. Today I ask my colleagues to please join me in recognizing this great American and Coast Guardsman for his selfless service to our nation. I yield back.